Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the Living God, who loves you with a true agape love. And He wants to pour that love out in your heart, write it on your mind, and keep your heart and mind in perfect peace. He's our resting place. He is our dwelling place. He's our house. He's our fortress. He's our high tower. He's that place we come to where we sit down and we just know that He is our abode. He's the place where we live. All life comes out of Him. Everything that is seen and not seen, heard yet not heard, it is all created by God and for God. It does His work in the earth and in the heaven above. The Lord knows what he's created. He knows this day, the beginning of it. He knows the end of it. And we can trust him. You know, <laughs> listen, if we were to see him in the physical sense, see him, we would know, like the holy angels know, that the Lord God is God. He's what he is. He's the creator of all things, and his name is holy. He is, I, I, just, I just can't describe the greatness, the, the greatness. I mean, good doesn't even describe our father. I know we have that song, he's a good, good father, but he's beyond what we can re reasonably ration out in our minds. I wish I had a word that was better than great. For the angels cry, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Jehovah Elohim, say by oath, the Lord of hosts. And this is the Father of all creation, who has delighted in creating mankind, put us in this planet to, to take hold of it, <laughs> to take possession over it not over each other but over the land I and mean, i don't care if you live in a little hut if you live in a small apartment you have power the kingdom of god is within you because god loves you and he wants to pour out more love in your heart he wants to write more more of his love in your mind and it all comes from sitting down with him and taking time to acknowledge him in all of our ways when we acknowledge him that he is there with us, I'm telling you, you get more than just favor, the favor that's in the earth. You get a favor that walks with you. You get a favor that talks before you come, before you come into the room. You get a guard, or what does it say in Isaiah chapter 52? He's our, our, our rear reward, our rear guard. And our forward guard. He's on all sides of us. He's our shield and surrounding shield. That's why it's so important to get to get the word in your face. The word is a shield. His words are a shield and surrounding shield. His words are what strengthen us. Knowing him gives us strength in our heart. Courage to deal with today. With every situation, with every circumstance. It does not matter whether it's life or death. Nothing in this life will separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. We, are, we who have said yes to the Lord are being born from above. We're born from above because the Lord, the Father of heaven and earth, saw that we said yes. We agreed with his Son. We believe that he is the Son of the living God, Jesus Christ. He died and he rose again by the power of the Almighty. The, Jesus, the Father sees that we, 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 we have accepted his Son and that we're coming after him and we want to know him. And he has put us in his Son, in his Son, in his kingdom. Now, how, how am I saying it wrong? But... We are seated in Christ Jesus in the heavenly realm. We, we, are, we are spiritually been reborn. 
And if we seek the Lord with all of our heart, with all of our mind, will, and emotions, if we seek Him, we'll see our true salvation. We'll see our true identity. We'll be able to live in God's love and the expression of God's love lives through us in everything. Even when you get angry, you have self-control. You won't take that too far, but you will do what is right, even forgiving those who've wronged you. The Lord has given us life and peace, life and life more abundantly. He can carry you through the aches and pains and the sorrows of this life. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. What does it take to be born from, a, from above but to acknowledge the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit in all of your ways? God has given us helpers right along the side of us. People, that means angels of God that you cannot see. They've been assigned to your life to guard you and protect you in the Spirit. And that's why we need the Word of God in our heart. We need the Word of God written on our mind. We need to be transformed by the renewing of our mind, our mind, will, and our emotions, our soul. We need to be renewed in our soul in order to walk like Jesus walked. The Lord loves his fa- love the Son, the Father. He loves his Son. He loves his Son. And when he sees us, he sees his Son. I love what Jesus said. If you follow him, if you believe the words, if you keep to the word of God, if you keep to what Jesus said, you are truly his disciples. And who the Son has set free is free indeed. You've been freed by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony, the word of Christ. Christ is your testimony. How do you work all this together, Lord? You work it together by spending time with him, sitting down with him, acknowledging him in all of your ways that he's with you. David was facing a great amount of fear. He was in trouble. His heart and his mind were troubled, but he said, the Lord is my shepherd. This is what his heart proclamation is. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. I know we've run through this, this psalm like it, you know, I've heard it said at funerals. This is not a psalm for the dead, but for the living. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because God, the Lord, he is with me. His rod and his staff, the word and the Holy Spirit, they protect me. The Lord has set a table before us in the presence of our enemy, in the presence of trouble, in the presence of grief and sorrow, in the presence of that bad doctor's report. The Lord has set his table before me, the results of that injury. The Lord has set a table before me in the presence of this evil that has worked against me. What else does that psalm say? The Lord has set a table before me. He anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. It runs over because we, we, we believe the word of God. We believe every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. We refuse to change our mind. We're bold like Jesus. Be strong and courageous is what it says in Joshua. Didn't I say I'll be with you? You see, in all of this, goodness and mercy are going to chase us down and overtake us. Because our delight is to stay in the house of the Lord. Is our delight is to stay in God. To stay in love with God. To stay in love with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our delight is to hold tight to the one who has given the whole world salvation. To who has given us salvation. This salvation is life. 
so many things that can devour you in this world and you have your soul cast into hell because of unbelief I truly believe the Father whatever we've walked through whatever is hurt whatever is sorrow whatever life or death has happened in our lives don't let it hold you back from believing God trouble is in this world yet we overcome it because Jesus paid it all he took care of everything that we could possibly need in this earth we are satisfied even if you don't feel satisfied the Holy Spirit will show you what is what will satisfy Answered prayer does satisfy. But what is it you truly need answered? Let the Lord be your counselor. Let him be the mighty God of the almighty God that he is. And surround yourself with the word of God, with the, with the worship of angels. Ask for the help that you need from the Lord. Ask, ask him. Because we need spiritual strength. We need spiritual help that will strengthen us in the inner man so we have the wisdom of God, so that we have the knowledge of who he is. See, the knowledge of who he is, this does everything. This, this is it right here. The knowledge of who he is is everything. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. And with all you're getting, get an understanding of him because he's with you. He will never leave you. He will not forsake you. He is the strength of our lives. Hold on tight to the one who is our provision. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and it will be done unto you. That good thing that you, your heart is desiring. Believe on the Lord. Yes, for it, but start delighting in who he is. He already knows what you want, and he already knows how to bring it to together for you. But are we mature enough to walk in that thing that we want? Are we mature enough to forgive people who have hurt us and who continue to hurt us? Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You see, everyone, every person on this earth will have to answer before the Almighty God. All of us will have to give an account of our lives. So let us give an account of good. The good that we could possibly do is to forgive everyone who wrongs us. Whether they are they're acknowledge they're wrong or they don't acknowledge they're wrong. Whether they're dead or alive, it does not matter. Get before God and help Him. ask Him to help you to forgive others because He has forgiven you. Don't measure people's sin. Do not measure other people's sins. Don't do it. All sin is sin. All unbelief is unbelief. All not trusting God is not trusting God. Believe God and be delighted in Him. For He is want, He wants to delight in you. He delights in you. Just be who you were when God called you. And who you were when God called you is excited for Him. And if you weren't excited, I say, get before the Lord. And say, Father, help me. Because I love you. Help me because I, I want to live for you. I want to live in you and to you and through you. Help me because you're the only one I want to know. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson. Get the word in your face international. Get the word in your face and delight yourself in the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Peace, people. Love you. Bye-bye.